Howdy people and welcome to this video where we're going to be highlighting the IS-2 it's from the Berlin Trio, it's the premium tank well we're going to be highlighting the three gun marks on this, uh, on this tank we're on Karelia, it's assault mode the enemy tanks, the enemy top tier tanks are IS-3, T-34, Pershing, Super Pershing, 28 and uh, I don't know if you guys watched my uh, Karelia assault guide I never go on the A line, so this is kind of a bad spawn for me. If there's no Arty, I usually tend to go at K2. But seeing that I'm tier 7 and I will have to fight and guess really good cooldown tanks like IS-3 and T-34, I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna go up the hill. I wanna, I wanna do a little bit of sniping until the scouts die. Then the plan is to go to D4 because it's gonna be a lot easier for me to fight them shooting him in the side then take him and head on you know I got no chance versus a T-34 in an IS-3 let's be real there's already scouts getting spotted that's actually a good thing is the faster they die the faster I can head towards uh, towards D4 there's a brave comment there that YOLO at the beginning it's never recommended to do that because the enemy team well there's usually scouts coming from from their side and when they see a lone tank there, they will try to YOLO you, so that's definitely not good. I'm trying to get a shot at the same X12T now. And Mazarasha delivered. We got him, even though it was like a pixel shot. As a T43 going in for the comet, we really gotta help this uh, this feller now. Luckily he got detracted, and I can shoot reliably. There's also an IS2 going for him. See, this is what I was talking about. Really bad idea to go there at the beginning. He's getting really good spots, but he will most likely die in the position he's in because there's a lot of tanks coming in from the flanks. So far, we're pretty much kicking the ass of that uh, IS-2. Well, unfortunately, I missed that shot. But I don't think he's gonna live too long in that position. Nope. There we go, he's dead. At this point, I just want to go to D4 because the enemy scouts are dead. Well, besides the T-31, but I don't know where he is. So I just want to go to D4. It's always the best to just wait until it's safe. But all of a sudden, not the super pushing Yolos, man. That poor Comet really feels bad. So now he's got to deal with a super pushing besides all the other tanks that went for him so far. I get a shot on the side, but I bounced. Well, I don't really want to get spotted here. It's pretty much a death zone. Um, they can shoot you from their base quite nicely. I really want to shoot a super pushing in the side, but I don't have any shots. The comet, I think, flipped. I will have to go in at some point because if I don't go in, I can't do anything. There's a KV3 there up the up the ridge. Let me see if I can get a shot into him. Yeah, unfortunately, it bounced. Kind of hard to, to, to hit his front plate from here or the side of his turret. Well, it gave me the side of his turret now when I hit it. Nice. And another shot. Yep, we got the kill. So there's a super brushing I got spotted, so at this point there's no backing down. I need to go in because if I stay here I'm gonna die anyway, so I gotta go in for the super brushing. There's, there's also a pick here that can help me. He's already lost half his health, so the plan is to go in for the guy. Okay. Well unfortunately I shot the top of his turret where there's no space tower, but it bounced. Let me see if I can get a shot on this side since he's poking over the side quite a lot or not. Shoot the tubes on the on the top again. Okay, super brushing is dead. We I gotta go to D4. Apparently they won the the K12 flank also, and they killed. The, there was the IS3 and the T34 there, the tanks I was I was uh, fearing the most, and they won. But we lost a lot of tanks in the process. Gotta go in and kill the remaining of their tanks at this point. There's a nice KV3 here hiding behind a rock. Remember guys, it's always a really, really bad idea when you're on defense mode and you're on a defending side to just stay behind the rocks and wait for time to pass by. Yeah, Mother Russia again. It's always bad to just wait for the time to pass by because when you're standing like that behind a rock, the enemy team will be able to get really close to you and flank you and you'll have no chance of escaping so always remember 
Map control is what wins games, yes? Not waiting for the time to run out. Well, then I got a sort of a snapshot in the tiger there. There's a full HP T28. I really, really, really want to go and farm it. Hungry for damage at this point. And got a casual shot at the tiger and the move, you know. I mean, why not? Because accuracy matter in this game, right? Plan is to go in, detract the T28 if I can. Let me see if I can get a shot in his side. Yeah, I have no idea how that bounced. I have no idea how that bounced, but it did, so... Now I gotta take a shot or two from the T28, so I can actually get to his side and detract him. Yeah, that only detracted him and did no damage. Nice. And now I gotta take a shot. Luckily, he's shooting high explosive. <laughs> So let's see, can we get the, the D-Track? I don't have the gun to push it in the back though, so... There we go. Finally, D-Track and damage, and now my team can farm him. And I'll get all these as damage like a boss. And another shot into him. Good game, I guess. Yes, sir. So, boys, we got a 3-gun Rakarina on the IS-2. We landed an ace tanker, 109k credits, 2,790 XP. We managed to do 3,597 damage, 4 kills, 1,550 base XP. We also landed 1,925 assist damage. And at the end we even made 56k profit. Remember this is a premium tank, but I was running rations on it. And I also think I fired... Uh, some gold shells if I'm not mistaken not so sure about that well that's pretty much it boys I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe and don't forget to tell me what you think about the IS2 from the Berlin uh, trio thank you for watching and goodbye